Ian, let's start with the state of this game. Also, we lost a lot of time today. Um, the game was bubbling up into a, a wonderful game of cricket. Uh, I guess if we get plenty of play tomorrow, that's still a possibility. Oh, wonderful opportunity still in this game. Um, frustrating day, full stop. Uh, like I said yesterday, fantastic cricket wicket, two good sides who want to play some good cricket. Frustrated with the weather, frustrated there's no spectators, on off. I feel for the groundsman today, you wouldn't have wanted to be a groundsman. Um, but yeah, we had opportunity, 24 overs. Um, we'd have liked a couple more wickets, um, but it's set up nicely tomorrow. 109, three down, had a couple in the morning, new ball due shortly. Um, you never know what can happen. And despite the lack of spectators, despite the filthy weather, you can tell both sides are really fighting very hard, the way we bowled and the way they batted. Oh, I'd been... If I wanted a reaction from the North Ants game, we've definitely shown it here. Um, in the fight and spirit and everything we've given in this game. I couldn't have asked for any more for the boys. Things maybe... We haven't had the rubber green with a few things, but... Um, that happens in sport as well. If we keep fighting, you never know this. Hopefully, 96 overs tomorrow for us to force a win. Uh, obviously, we didn't see Joffre bowl uh, this evening. He bowled five overs yesterday. Um, can you give us an update on his situation? Oh, just to add to the frustration, obviously, of the day um, and the game, um, Joff won't bowl again in this game. His elbow's sore. Uh, I feel for him. Um, but it's obviously frustrating for us because we're missing out on a wonderful talent playing and that can be frustrating for our side as it is frustrating that Jobs obviously saw. I think then, obviously, then it would be for the ECB to see what's wrong. He's their player ultimately, even though he has got a sore elbow, he still wanted to be out there um, helping out because um, he's as desperate for us to win as everybody else. And that must have been good to see him take the field, even though he's struggling. Yeah, um, he, he still wants to do well for Sussex, um, as does everybody else. I think it's frustrating for everybody you know and that can spill over at times um, because when you're a side that desperately wants to win and all we think about and talk about is trying to win um, you know when one of your bowlers goes down it's always frustrating whatever sport you play. Talking of England bowlers and future England bowlers um, the way Ollie charged in tonight for, for nine more overs after uh, his 11 yesterday um, some real heart some real commitment and some quality bowling quality bowler full stop um, he's at the peak of his powers after a little rest last game I, I think genuinely this game is his best he's bowled all season and literally this is the cruelness of sport um, sometimes you don't get the results that you deserve um, but there's still seven wickets to get I wouldn't put anything against Ollie getting a few more tomorrow and I can honestly say I reckon this is the best he's bowled all summer uh, well, some are loosely uh, said that it's not quite some yet, um, but it's definitely the best he's bowled. Just hasn't had the uh, rubber to green that he needed, um, probably to get the wickets he deserved. Even better than the ninth? Yeah, hundred percent. Completely different. He's in. He's bowled quicker, more bounce, more vibrancy. Um, I just think he's just hasn't had rubber to green in this innings. Jack Carson bowled one over the SDA and got a bit of tap from Zach Crawley, but is it a, is it a sign of the guy's uh, strength of character that he comes back today and takes the wicket of the, of the England man? Oh, I, oh, probably people realise I might have a biasness towards uh, Jack as a fellow spinner. Um, I'm giving away a trade cigarette. He rang me up at 10 o'clock last night, um, worried about how he could bowl at Zach Crawley. Just, and it was literally... If the connoisseurs, you might not be able to see on the live feed, he slightly changed the field, which was to cut off um, the reverse sweep and then literally try to play it differently and then got the rewards. But that just shows the due diligence of the young man that he's still thinking about what can I do for the team? How can I get better? He's still thinking at 10 o'clock last night to give me a call. Um, he put it in place and uh, I think that'll be up there one of my more pleasing wickets for him because one is a top player, it's an important stage of the game, but he's still caring about the situation at 10 o'clock last night and worrying about how he's going to bowl at Zach Crawley and what field he needs to uh, compete against him. And he seems to have a nice habit of getting England batsmen out. I, he's got a bit of a habit of getting batsmen out full stop. You know, this is only his 10th game and he's got now 36 wickets at about 21, 22. 
um, and goes under free and over. That that's a superb, unbelievable achievement which would stack up against any young bowler that's ever played for England, let alone been successful in county cricket at, the, at his age. We obviously talk a lot about batsmen and bowlers, but I think important just to recognise uh, the fielding this game. There's one drop this evening, but that catch to get Crawley, but also the catching in the first innings. I mean, that that's been really impressive. Uh, yeah, and look, drop tonight, but nobody would criticise the people that put the hours in. These guys literally, this is the one thing we insist on every single day of every practice, every game, that they put the practice in as slips. And also, I think that's Tomo's now second catch at short leg. And I reckon that is his second out of. He's probably taken conservatively five, six hundred catches in practice, minimum, maybe more. It might be even up to now, you know, nearer a thousand he's done. So somebody who's willing to put in the effort to catch a thousand catches in practice just for two so far is just reward for uh, an amazing young man who puts his life and soul into his cricket. And, and I guess fingers crossed the rain stays away tomorrow. Oh, we can't have another frustrating day, Sam, please. <laughs> Lovely. Thanks for your time. No worries.